to let them, we are the ones to get in our own way, as I said before. And if you let them clear the path, you will see a lot of things come into you. Get a, get a notebook, and like you're making notes, which is great. Get a notebook and start really seeing what your thoughts, you start second guessing yourself. You do. You're too confined sometimes. <laughs> True? No? Okay. When you step outside that box, you will see a lot of possibilities coming, dumping into you. Because Einstein, um, again, Einstein, um, Edison, um, even Da Vinci, you know what happens when they'll say, oh, you get these ideas. Oh, it's easy. And I do it too. You just go daydream and you know what? All the um, inventions that I could see, I, it's just that uh, technology hasn't caught up with my brain or my downloads. But I see so much in the future that I can't say anything until it's, it's up to the individuals to get it. It's all up there to come down. But we're the ones who are saying, oh, we know. What is it? Ego. We are so arrogant in, in our own ego. We think we know everything. Well, not everybody, but you know what I mean? We, we are trained that way, aggressively, competitively. But if you see it on a bigger scale, you'll see a lot more things come to your, your uh, threshold and a lot more answers to what you're seeking. Um, so you get very intense, don't you, when you want something? <laughs> very, I mean, boy, talk about, not exactly a dog with a belt, but boy. Um, I mean, a good way, but you really ferociously wrap something. Uh, no offense, but they're giving me both and But You know, in other words, you really wrap it and bring it to you. Um, so those are good for you. Um, but you have to also kick back and say, okay, is this good for you? No, it's not good. Any questions? I know I've been talking like non stop. Yes. Okay, how is it manifesting? What is it in what way? All right, energy is. Okay. Everybody has their own different concepts of energy, okay? Or it comes in differently. Like, as I said, energy can be I can hear it, I can see it, I can feel it, whatever. Okay, energy is in, um, how I do it quickly, um, how I do it as a clear cognitive, I, the nearest, like, you know when it, um, in a filter, you know it's in different layers, filters, okay, because it comes through, so it's like a filter of different, different paper thin dimensions, and I just go in and then retrieve what I need, like somebody says, please, you know, help me for my future. I go in and then take it, so I'm using the energy, but it's so, it's a, a really advanced class I teach, oh, quite frankly, but oh, okay, feeling it. No, no, I'm sorry, I meant my body. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, oh. everybody's going to feel it differently. Oh. You are all different, you're very clairvoyant, you, you see things, right, you're visual, but you're also logic based, that kind of anchors you, is that true? Yeah. <laughs> but so everybody different uh, has it different. You're kind of logic, but you're really audio. You hear things a lot. Um, I don't know if that's what you see is true. Gets messages or feelings, even though he won't act on it. Ah. Um, so everybody's different. And how you are the strongest, you have your primary and your secondary. Now, whatever, your primary could be clear, actually your clear audio. You listen and then you see it. So secondary is clear point. So your primary and secondary is how you're going to feel it. So you're going to not trust yourself and say, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Could clear audio be when, like, I don't physically hear it, I no. hear it in my head. It's yeah, exactly, like a it's as if you're daydreaming. And yeah, Gosh, okay. I'm hearing voices. If I said that when I was in school in England, I really would be because, mm -hmm. uh, but basically it is. It's, you're, it's as if when I'm saying clairvoyance and I'm seeing somebody when I describe them, it's they're there but they're not there. Mm -hmm. It's it's a weird kind of dimension that I have to operate. Okay, um, so that's what you have to decide. All of you, and there is a class I did, did that will teach you what you are, and then to really nurture it more. But if you find out who you are and what you are in the way of that, find out. Bless you. But, but once you find that out, you'll feel it, okay? But it's up to you. And it won't be, oh gosh, you know, I was driving and my car just got spun over to the next mountain. I guess that was it, it came in. No, it won't be that. 
it'll be more subtle, it'll be kind of, um, some of you will get nauseous by the way, the ones who are hypersensitive, who are really more clairsentient, which you are, you're going to get nauseous, because you're going to feel as if a wave has just hit you, as if something has moved, and it's a wave. Um, you'll feel, see the animals are kind of freaking out. They're acting differently. Not scared, but they don't know what's going on. For an earthquake, by the way, a week before an earthquake hits, watch the animals. They leave home, they try to come for a high ground, they will run away, even if the most devoted one will run, and they will seek higher ground. Okay? And that is what is so, um, that's a huge indi indication that there's an earthquake coming. <coughs> Tsunami. Uh, 13, four, no, four, yeah, 13 through 15, but yeah, it's really 14, 15, I think. 13th, you can see it, but you will feel some of you I'm seeing here are getting very nauseous, very sick, because I'm starting already in the last few days, uh, only because I'm tuned in. Yeah. Okay.